Hello out there to you. We have a problem where we're trying to figure out a monopoly uh, production. How much should they produce? And whether they're going to make profit or loss. Okay, so I've been given price. As the price falls, they can sell more. Okay, so they're a price maker. And then total cost we've been given. Okay. Uh, here's total revenue, marginal revenue, marginal cost, average total cost. Over here, uh, I have made a little table that you can pause the video and write down. But here's total. Re here's what it all stands for, and then here's the formulas. Total cost in this problem we've been given actually, um, but just in case you haven't, you can always get that by adding variable cost plus fixed cost. If you've been given the the average total cost, you can also find total cost by just multiplying the quantity by the average and you'll get the total cost okay so we're just going to do this in excel when we write a formula in excel we um we're just going to go equal sign so the first one is price times quantity so uh, we're going to sell the sunglasses it looks like in this problem for twenty dollars i'm going to multiply that by the quantity there and uh, i get that one and i'm just going to what you can do, you can drag that little plus sign down, or if you want, you can highlight the whole thing and hit Control D on your keyboard. Or the fastest way is just to take that where the little plus is, just double click and it goes all the way down. Okay. Now, uh, marginal revenue is the additional marginal means additional the additional revenue uh, divided by the change in quantity. So we don't really know where we start off here, so we're not actually going to have a a marginal revenue uh, past the first point. Same thing with marginal cost. So I'll just put not applicable there. And uh, and here we go. So I'm going to take a, write a formula here, which is the change. So I'll put it in parentheses. So it's this minus this, but then divided by the change in quantity, which in this case it's your choice. It is five thousand all the way down. But uh, if you want to be more technical about it, you can go, you can take this number minus this number and then make sure to put it in parentheses so that Excel does those, those first. Okay, so the change in here on total revenue is the numerator. The change in quantity is the denominator. Okay, so that's 16 and I can just copy that formula all the way down. Okay, so there's our marginal revenue. Next, we want to do the same thing with uh, marginal cost, which uh, you can copy that formula over. Just make sure you're, you're copying the quantity column. I guess we can do that. We'll just copy that formula over here. It doesn't like that formula, so uh, why not? Okay, because we're trying to do the change okay so this will be e6 minus e5 okay that's fine and then it's this part right here I actually want uh, to be in the B column which is over here just change the D to a B okay so just make sure that worked out okay see it's it's changed it over there okay and I can just copy that guy all the way down Okay, and then I've, I've been asked to do average total cost. So just take total cost and then divide by the quantity. Hit enter. Copy that guy all the way down. Okay. Now all of these are in money. So I can actually just hit the, hit the money sign there. That's fine. I don't have any, just a preference there. I don't like the columns too wide there. Okay. Go back here and back here. Okay, so well, the to maximize profit, we want to produce up until the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost, or at very least the last unit where marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost. So in this case, uh, if I produce twenty thousand units. Marginal revenue there is 16, marginal cost is 7, uh, so I'm earning a profit there. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, 14 is marginal revenue, so if I lower the price, am I still earning positive profit? Yes. Uh, right here, am I still earning positive profit? Yes. 
and then here. This is where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay, so that's where I want to produce to. Now, because she has a monopoly, we can actually this this would be the the quantity here will be thirty five thousand, but we can actually charge that price. So the answer here is sixteen. Okay, so sixteen would be the answer to the first question. She should charge that price, and then how much profit and loss should she make? Okay, so we can just do a profit uh, column here. So profit is total revenue. So how much money we made minus total cost. Okay, and so that's negative. Let's change this. Format cells. If you go into format cells, you can change it to currency. And then we don't want, we want negative numbers. Let's do negative numbers. Okay, a little easier to see. Copy this all the way down. Okay, and we actually get the same profit out of this and this. Okay. Um, but we do, because we're earning positive profit on those last 5,000 units, we want to go ahead and produce uh, that. So that's where the, um, the profit maximization part there came in. If you produce a little bit more, you're only going to earn 45,000. 45,000 isn't as good as 60,000, and so there is the answer, and this is how to do it in Excel. Cool thing about Excel is if you had a different problem, if you wanted to change the prices up, maybe this was... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's let's change the prices to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. See what happens. So in this case, we're now never profit maximizing. Um, so we would need the prices to be a little bit higher than the ones that I just changed there. But you can change them in Excel, and as long as your formulas are sound, you can get out those different answers.